John was not saying that a Christian cannot be taught. What he himself was doing was teaching. He was trying to teach the people. But his concern about, was about the teachings of those people. That was his concern. Who were claiming to have special knowledge. And then rejecting the teachings of the apostles and their successors. He was telling them that no, don't listen to them. The anointing you have is real. You see, the Holy Ghost baptism we have, we don't cherish it. But it's real. It's powerful. It's powerful. We, we have minimized the power of salvation. The power of the word of God. And the power of the Holy Spirit. Even some ministers, a minister's wife, do not understand these things. Some time ago, when I was teaching these things, somebody said that, oh, one elder told me that, oh, Apostle, yes, who fear their baby phone you hope until now church the sad. Some Christians. Mm, they are saying that there is no witchcraft in your family. That's why you are saying that. And one time, when we, uh, I was the rector, and we had to teach some dicknesses who had attended the Bible uh, uh, school at that time. One of them, one of the dicknesses said that, hey, for us, we came from a very pagan background where fetishism said so apostle what you are saying from our background is not just the baptism of the holy spirit we need to engage in this spiritual warfare and i said you you have to re <laughs> revoke your calling as a dickness you don't understand the thing May the Lord God Almighty have mercy on us. You see, when you have Christ in you, you are more than a conqueror. And then to seal everything, he gives you the baptism of the Holy Spirit. What do you need again? What do you need again? You can speak with him directly. So as a minister, a minister's wife, what you need to do is to deepen your spirit. Quicken yourself up. And never look down upon that mighty thing that is in you. That was why Paul's prayer was that. That God will enlighten the eye of the understanding of the people to be able to comprehend them. And know that mighty power in them. Paul. Um, verse five in and was Raya Yano. Paul, the Anna, a yet Nimpai Bopa, and he said, A Wadipi Bui, a Christophono, and him, a Yasa Muninamba, by few of you. Obe be a Christophone, any, or Montias, any, no mobile who to me, Cassia, a two mono. Catch all me, I say, A Wadimbuani. Nehunu to me kesia ewo umuno to me kesia ewo umuno that mighty power was it said to me no ya nyan christo fre wo fun so the holy spirit in you is no mean thing but many people do not understand it if you understand it you will know that the anointing abides in you shall we rise up as we sing verse 5 
chant the English one verse five and let's try to sing it in the English. The anointing comes from the Father and the Son. Let no one rob you of what you have. Remain in the anointing. You receive what you request of Him. This is the basic word. they will tell you that one of the things that the founder of the church did not like was to invite so-called anointed person to come and teach you. He will say that you are more than a prophet. You are more than an apostle. You are greater than Moses. Greater than John the Baptist. One of his messages that I picked and also preached several times. Without us, they were not perfect. Exhort Christ and then tell you that you are more than the Old Testament saints. But many Christians cannot accept this. This is our challenge. Just remain in this basic message. There is power in the word of God. There is power in the name of Jesus. And it's not a joke. It's real. Eh? It's true. It is true. I was praying for now Pastor Miller, Steve Miller, to receive the Holy Spirit baptism. We prayed and then I realized that he had received the baptism but he could not understand. And this was, I think, in either 1976 or uh, 1976 or 77 at Wa. We were living in the same uh, house when by the grace of God he touched him. He has a, a story but we can't go there. And when I wanted to pray for him to receive the baptism, for him to become my interpreter, and I told him that it's simple. The Holy Spirit is already in you. Now, as we begin to pray, I lay hands on you, begin to speak in tongues. He said, oh, it's so simple. And I said, yes. Ah, immediately we started praying. He started, Shombariki yambeliye, handari yanda babakutu munye nda nda amburi hallelujah he said oh pastor it's simple I said, that's it it's not anything that is mystified God has made the gospel simple and it's the power of God unto salvation if you catch this one you've caught a very important aspect of your ministry and as a Christian People cannot deceive you. Telling you I've got this revelation about you. If you don't come, something will happen. You are, you are more than that revelation. Because the revelation himself lives in you. And the revelation is Christ. So you should not be afraid of 
these uh, revelations and the death. I've seen that if you don't come, you are going to die. This thing is going to happen in your families. Put them aside. The one who is in you is the revelation. Me wo Jesus o trumbo chana dinina be chan oh Me wo Jesus ma chungwa Jesus Majin Kwa Me wa Jesus Lamor 
Roko Tonda Nalara La Hambaru Kakamba Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 